what I'm going to look at today is a collection of tools for managing and maintaining your ports collection. So there are a couple of things that we need installed to keep it all up to date. Let's jump into it and have a look. So let's have a look at the, the tools that we can use to maintain and update our software that we've got installed on our FreeBSD box. So what we want to do is we want to update our ports collection and then update the installed software. How do we do that? Well, we've got our user ports. It's all there and ready. Let's have a look in that directory. It's empty. So we're going to clone the repository, which is git clone. There's the URL and into user ports. You'll have, of course, need to install git. You can do that by package install git. So let's clone the, the ports tree. Take a minute or two. Git is a funny beast. It downloads it and then checks it out of its own download. It's really strange how it works. But it works well. It's great for maintaining any open source project. And, and indeed, you can maintain anything with it, really. Nearly done. There we go. We've now got a very up-to-date ports tree. Two tools, port master, port upgrade. Let's have a look at them. So where are you? So there's port master. So let's CD in there and make install. And there's a reason why I'm only doing make install and we'll come to that in a minute. So there we go. And we're going to install port upgrade. Launch Ruby. Of course it does. It's one of the reasons why I prefer port master. is because there are less dependencies. Okay. So. We couldn't install port upgrade. And there's a reason for that. And that's because some of the software is uh, a mismatch of versions. So let's do a portmaster minus A. What this is going to do is just update everything. This will take a while. Now, I don't have a huge amount of software installed, but it will just sort out everything. At least it should. Oh, no. No, no. I'm going to sit down. And on. Let's see if we can try and install port upgrade. See what happens now. Oh, pretty. Okay, so that's now installed. And we've got a, a couple of things that I wanted to just go through it. The first thing that I find very handy, and I think this is actually part of port tools rather than anything else, and that's ports clean. There we go. So we'll have a look at that, because it will give you the options, then the ones that I use is C and D. So watch what happens. It's just going to get rid of all those work directories and any downloaded disk files, there you go, and tell you the results. So that way you can reclaim some of the, the used up space that you just don't need to use. Portmaster, as I said before, my preferred port manager, if you like. And the reason for that is because, as I said, doesn't have so many dependencies and is a lot easier to use. Why do I say port manager? I mean port master. So we've got a help there. Let's have a look at it. So there you go, you can get it to answer yes to everything. Package building, local package directory, 
it's really powerful and, and just purely because of the, the lack of dependencies, so much easier to use than port master, uh, than, than port upgrade. And if you look at port upgrade, let's clear that. It does pretty much the same thing. You know, always answer yes. It can use sudo as well, if you like using sudo. You can get it to do it quietly, which is nice. And no execute, which is really good. So it will just build everything. But it won't install anything. And you can get it to fetch only and loads of other stuff. Disk clean. Oh, it does do disk clean. That's quite handy. Didn't know that. And then you can get it to run a command after, which is really nice. I don't know if Port Manor, does Port Master do that? Let's have a look. Don't remember seeing that, but maybe it does. Also, the other thing that's really good about Port Master is you can get it to produce a list of the software that you've installed, which you can then use to build your own packages with Poodry. So this is just a little touch on, on the tools that you can use. Like I said, I, I prefer Portmaster purely because of the lack of dependencies. And then you just do Portmaster minus A and it'll update them all. We're not going to do it. But it will just go through and update everything. I've been in contact with for Madden. Fantastic source of knowledge. Really is pillar of the community. If you get the chance to talk to him, do so. Fountain of, of knowledge. I just wanted to go through some of the things that he raised, and they're very valid. And I thank you, for Madden, for, for pointing these out. Because, again, this goes back to my other video, the things that we take for granted as, as FreeBSD experienced users. So I just wanted to go through a few things that he's he's raised because I rushed through them and, and they're, they're worth talking about. So let's jump into it. The things that I didn't mention in my other video about the ports tree, I'm going to cover in this. So if you remember, I, I pointed out that to use it, you would do make, make, install, clean, all of that stuff. So we'll use my normal example of oh, Nginx because I use that quite a lot. And if you remember... Issuing the make command brings up the options, but that's only the first time you do it. Subsequent times you do it, it won't bring it up. So we'll just do that. We don't need to go through it. Let's clear the screen. So now if I do make, it just carries on making it. Maybe you're not happy with those options. Maybe you want to change them. To bring that screen back up, make config. And I'll give you this again. You can add in the, the options that you want or take out the ones that you don't want. You can also do a make rm config, which will remove that option. So when you click on uh, type on make, it will bring it up again. There we go. So there's the the first couple. The next one. This this is a really handy one, and this can save time if you want to do everything now and then walk away from it. And that's the make config. Here we go for the the big one, recursive. So this will just go through. If there were other ports that needed configuring, let's try something else actually. Let's go for Apache. So if I was to do a make config recursive, it will check all the dependencies and it will bring up the options screens for all of them. And you can make any changes you wish. This can help save time because you can then do a, a, a make and walk away. Lots of them. <laughs> Now, quite often I wouldn't do this. What I would normally do would be to, to sit here and, and run through it as it's doing it and then come back. And but this is a bit of a time saver. You get all your options sorted out first. Now, I am literally just choosing the defaults here, but you can, like I say, add in what you like. There you go. So that's done. So now you can just do a make and it will go off and do it. Or make install and it will go off and do it. There is another way of doing it, which is a... a Bit of a dirty way. If you look in bar DB ports, you'll see all the options. These are all the options files here. So if I go into 
Apache 2.4. It's www underscore Apache 2.4. And if I do an LS, you'll see the options file. And there's all the options. Now you can change them here. You just put in set or unset. But you can also use these options files for your, your Poodry setup. So that's handy. And of course, if you want all fresh options, you can do an RM minus RF bar DB ports and get rid of them all in one go. So you can do them all again. I don't want to do that, but there are times when you might find that necessary. Let me know what you think. Um, again, thank you for Madden for, for pointing these out. These are things I get, that I, I take for granted and tiny little scratch of the surface. If you want more in-depth stuff, please drop a comment and I'll I'll try and go through that because there are a ton of options for both port master and port upgrade. Let me know, just drop a comment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you want to. Don't forget, Discord server is going still. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.